heard of transitional design style? I feel like you may have, but you might not be 100% sure what it is. And I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I didn't actually understand this one either. And I'm a designer. <laughs> Sometimes I find transitional and traditional kind of confusing because sometimes they are shown very similarly, but I have learned that they are indeed different. And today I'm going to go over transitional design style and how to get the look properly. <laughs> All right, guys, let's dive in. So what is it? Let's clarify traditional design style first. Okay, guys, because I know I needed some clarification on this. Actually used to reflect modern and traditional elements within a space. I mean, sounds so simple. I don't know why I couldn't figure this out before. <laughs> but basically it's combining those two, two looks into a cohesive design. But it is different than urban modern because urban modern doesn't really have that traditional feel whereas transitional does have that traditional feel. So. Yeah, I feel like sometimes when you get into mixing of design styles, some of them tend to seem very similar, but then the actual look is very different. Yeah, so we're gonna get into it all. All right, so how do we get this look? You're not gonna be surprised when I say some of these things, but the pictures will help show it in the correct use because I feel like we hear about a lot of these things all the time, but trust me, they are used differently. Okay, so an overall muted color scheme. I know, but that is traditional. Traditional isn't bold or crazy. It is definitely muted with neutrals and then also some darker colors. So it is one of those ones where you bring in some of those more traditional darker hues. So think like navy blue, right? However, those darker pieces, we tend to see more in accents. So like say some side chairs in a beautiful navy blue velvet, that would look fantastic. Although sometimes a transitional look can have almost minimalistic qualities to it, it still will focus on comfort. So comfort is actually very important in this look. You know, think of your sofa. It's going to focus on a more grandiose sofa, something a little bit more oversized, something that's definitely more comfortable. You'll also see larger scaled patterns used in this design style. So this, I love, I love a bold pattern. And I feel like I didn't realize that you could really use it in this context, but now seeing it, I absolutely think you can totally um, utilize it. However, you don't want it to overwhelm the space. So sometimes when we use textiles, it can be too much. So this one is definitely finding that balance where it's a beautiful, bold textile, but still somewhat quiet. You don't want it to be very loud. <laughs> yeah, that's how I describe my text textiles. <laughs> So one of the elements with transitional design is balance. So you want to think of mixing materials. So you might have some metals and glass as well as some woods and rattan. So mixing those elements together is a plus because this is a transitional style. So you want to really think about balancing those two looks together. However, you still want to think about symmetry and clean lines and basically like a polished look. So not too busy and not too overdone is really, really key in this look. It is one that I would say is probably easier to achieve than to explain. <laughs> so again, modern and traditional is what we're going for. To have a well-blended transitional look, here are some of the key tips. Stay neutral, incorporate textural elements, limit the use of accessories, and choose impactful art. Now, what do I mean by this? Pick more neutral colors for the walls, but then Think of your furniture as more of that centerpiece, that show piece. So use some more of the colors actually within your furniture. So I feel like unlike timeless design or some of our traditional ones, this is where you'll actually use um, more bold furniture pieces. So textural elements, what do I mean by textural elements? So think of things like your metals, your woods, your rattans, glass, lacquer, fabric, steel, metal, all the different materials. Where the somewhat minimalistic mindset comes in with this is you really, when we talk about accessories, 
we want to minimize the amount that we use. So it's got to be really curated for the look so that it's not too busy. And that is a really big part of this look because it does lean towards that modern look as well. And impactful art. What do I mean by impactful art? Choose a statement piece. Choose one beautiful statement piece. Try to limit too many and too much busyness. But again, one of the things with transitional is it's very balanced. Balance is key. So another item that I like to talk about is lighting. And when it comes to transitional design, lighting again is always important. What I think is great about transitional is that because it has that modern element to it, you could actually really step it up a little bit with your lighting and use that as one of your focal pieces, one of your show pieces. So if you have say a chandelier over a dining room, you could use a really fun, modern architectural light as a standout piece and that would go really well with this look. So some just breaking down to some spaces and some ideas of how you can really incorporate this look because I feel like it is a little bit vague. So let's talk about a dining room for example. What are some things that you could do to make a transitional dining room? So a really interesting detail that you could do if you're willing to go this far is something like wainscoting. Now wainscoting on walls looks absolutely stunning and beautiful and that is very, very traditional. But then you can mix that with say a modern table and then some upholstered chairs. So you're mixing and blending those two specific styles together. So that's where you get that traditional wainscoting and then modern dining table and then neutral palette, maybe do something interesting with the chairs, a big piece of bold artwork, and maybe a really beautiful chandelier. You know, maybe something modern, architecturally modern. That's how you would get a really nice transitional look in your dining room. So I think the key takeaway, the final note on tra transitional design is finding that balance between modern and traditional. And I do feel like you can play with it quite a bit, but at the same time, there are certain key elements that really do tie this look together. So I hope that this helped you guys. I know this one was a little bit, this one was a little bit hard, I'm not gonna lie to you. But if you liked this video, I definitely suggest you jump over to my traditional interior design video. That one was definitely more straightforward and I think you'll really enjoy that one. And then you'll kind of understand how to mix them together, I think. Trin, tri tri I know, oh my gosh. All right, guys, until next time, bye. Oh, and don't forget to hit the like button. Hit the like, yes, thank you, bye. <laughs>